Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamika. This is Library of Tomes where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life. Hi, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. How are you doing? We are on day four of the 12 days of HEAs and today we are going over the biggest surprise of 2020. So before we actually hop in, I just want to say that I think a lot of us had some pretty big surprises in 2020. 2020 was just overall a year <laughs> so i i thought that this was a really good topic because i know i had a huge surprise in 2020 so let's hop on in to the other romance booktubers let them tell you what their biggest surprise was and then i'll tell you mine hi my name is carrie and i'm on a little channel called book for romance and the surprise of 2020 now this was tough there were a lot of surprises but for me, the most surprising book that I ended up coming across this year was This Earl of Mine by Kate Bateman. This one I knew. I knew it was going to be funny. I didn't realize how funny and interesting and romantic and it just was everything I was looking for in an historical romance. And I am fairly new to historical romance, so maybe this is why. This really ended up resonating with me and I absolutely adored it. We start off with our main heroine, Georgiana. And Georgiana is, she she's an heiress. She ends up having this fortune attached to her, but unfortunately for her, she has a cousin who wants to marry her, but she doesn't want to marry that cousin. So she ends up concocting a plan to marry someone who is a condemned man. So she, and she takes it upon herself to go and marry someone on death row. Unfortunately for her, the person she ends up marrying ends up being a Bow Street runner who is undercover in that prison and little does she know he doesn't end up dying so they end up confronting each other this is a really cute book I absolutely adored it I, I really adored the second one too to catch an earl really sweet I highly recommend these these are the surprise for me for 2020 a special thank you goes out to Tamika for doing this awesome uh, 12 days of HEA so as always thanks guys Hey there, my name is Kayla and I'm from the channel On The Fritz where I read a variety of things but mostly romance, particularly historical and alien romance. And uh, my biggest shocker of this year, the biggest surprise for me was reading Treasure of the Abyss by Tiffany Roberts. This one was so surprising because of how much I loved it and even for someone who reads a lot of alien romance. At the time, I had not uh, read any alien romance with tentacles. <laughs> Tiffany Roberts is a husband and wife duo, so that was something cool to find out. But this story is about, it takes place in space on a different planet. And we have our heroine who is a human, and our hero who is a kraken. And she goes on a ship with her best friend and he is going to propose to her and she knows it's coming she's been kind of leading him along and hasn't told him how she really feels about him and before it happens they get in this shipwreck and she is rescued by the hero kraken and she is taken to his underwater cave where he keeps her kind of prison there but he's also taking care of her so this story is like a mix of like little mermaid with like the secret alcove of human items and the fascination of human life like humanity uh also a mix of like beauty and the beast with like the captive and the you know one being beastly and the other being a bell beauty if you have read alien romance um i highly recommend checking this out especially if you're looking for something a little bit different but it's different but it is still like emotional and it's a little bit more has a little bit more depth to it than other alien romances and it's wild because tentacles so highly recommend hi my name is jen from the book refuge and i'm bringing you my most surprising read of 2020 
this was an interesting topic choice which I mean I got to pick which topics I chose and it was still difficult to pick a book for this one but I'm gonna go with Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight so there are a couple things this is super shiny so I'll show it to you but this is a bad mama drama this is a mafia book this is a reverse harem um, and this is like super dirty kinky crazy stuff happening in this book lots of trigger warnings look those up we don't have time for it all in this short clip but the reason this was surprising was the two reasons I don't read reverse harem and I also didn't think that I wanted to read things with like blood play and stuff in them but the heroine of this book is so badass she gets sold to this mafia by her father to pay his debts um so yeah and uh yeah it's <laughs> It's amazing I don't even know what else to say about it but she ends up with a relationship with each of them individually they just are really impressed by her with the way she is willing to like fight them back and so even though they are like they got her as a gift they want to turn her into their mafia queen basically there's not too much else to say this book was just so surprising to me again look up the trigger warnings before you jump in but if you love mafia if you like it dirty crazy bonkers sex happening if you like those situations definitely try den of vipers i believe it's on ku i had to buy a physical copy because i just had to highlight this book because it's so crazy like the chapter headings all like our black page and it's so good it's so good so there you go that is my uh most surprising read of 2020 hi guys my name is ezra from i heart romance and i'm so happy to participate in tamika's 12 days of heas today i'm going to talk about my biggest surprise of 2020 it's actually a book not published in 2020 but it was published in prior years and it is birthday girl by penelope douglas I absolutely love this book. This is a taboo age gap romance and this is a romance between a heroine who falls in love with her boyfriend's dad. Now I know what you're saying it's pretty taboo but in fairness this is actually a really well written book. I actually love the relationship development between the hero Pike and the heroine Jordan and even though Jordan is in a relationship at this time you can really tell that there is no love between her and her boyfriend. Their relationship is on the rocks and they actually have to move in to Pike's house because of something idiotic that her boyfriend did. Now I really related to a lot of things that Jordan felt because she is in an age gap romance because I am actually in an age gap romance um, because my husband is a little bit older. So Jordan's internal thoughts really spoke to me. Now because this is taboo and I don't really read a lot of taboo romances and prior to this book I actually read another book that featured a heroine falling for her ex's dad that I did not like at all. So I was not expecting to like this book and in the end I gave it five stars. It's such an amazing book, really great relationship development, very steamy as well, but I really loved it. There is no cheating involved and the romance is really top notch and I highly recommend it. So if you've been here at any time at all, you will know that I actually did not like historical romance before I did my reading vlog in August or July. So sometime in July or August, I read Highland Spitfire by Mary Wine and that book blew me away. It was a five star read and I absolutely loved it. So this book follows two characters who are put into this marriage of convenience or arranged marriage of sorts. It's a forced marriage. If they don't get married, then their two fathers will die. These two characters come from two families who hate each other and it's this story between these two enemies falling in love. It was beautiful. I loved it. I thought it was such a fun book and so interesting. And the thing that surprised me the most, and that's kind of what I want to talk about here, is the fact that I was so adamant about how I did not like historical romance. I did not want to read it. It did not sound like my cup of tea. It just didn't, th I just didn't think I was going to be interested in it. And now here I am, sitting here with like four stacks of historical romances behind me. This entire shelf dedicated to historical romance now because I love historical romances because of this Highlander romance. I am just so stunned that I was able to love historical romance and the fact that this book kind of gave me that push of, hey, this is something you like. So 
This book is honestly one of my favorite books of the year and I could not have had such an amazing reading year without reading this book because it really gave me a new perspective on the historical romance genre and I loved it. So I had to include it. So those are all of the biggest surprises of 2020. Let me know in the comments what your biggest surprise was because I know that we're probably all really curious about what everyone's biggest surprise was. And if you want to be my friend on any other platform, all my links are in the description, including all of the links and books that the host talked about and the links for the host social, the host, the other romance booktubers social media. So with that being said, I'll see you all tomorrow for a small town romance recommendation list.